right, welcome back to Grizzle Geek Reacts. We're watching Ruby Volume 2, Episode 5. What's it called, Shane? Extracurricular. Extracurricular. I'm Mike. I'm Shane. I'm Doug. I'm Melissa. I'm Kirsten. <laughs> and we're back for some more Ruby. Can't get enough of this, so here we go. Keep going. Extracurricular. First time I see this, I want to see more of these fights like this. <laughs> they just jump really high in sync. Yeah. <laughs> really high. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like hers. There you there go. We go. Yeah. <laughs> God, I know what John's problem is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real bright. <laughs> no. That's true. <laughs> Wanna shake him. Look, dude, look. to beat his butt. Yeah. <laughs> She's do that Brad Pitt Achilles move where you jump and stabs him in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ruby just likes fighting. Yeah. yeah.
Poor abs. <laughs> you what? We want you to go to the dance. That's ridiculous. Like, we're worried about you. This investigation is starting to mess with your head. You can't sleep, you hardly eat, and to be honest, your grades have been suffering. You think I care about grades? People's lives are at stake. We know, and we're all still trying to figure out what torture is up to. Thanks to you and Son, we know they're operating somewhere outside of Southeast Vale. And the Schnee Company record singled out Vale as the primary target for dust robberies over the last few months. Don't forget about their missing military tech, too. But there are still unanswered questions. Blake, you won't be able to find anything if you can't even keep your eyes open. All we're asking is that you take it easy for one day. It will be fun! Danny and I will make sure of it. Yeah, we're playing the whole event! Excuse me? Two copies of Waymush lasted longer than expected. So was and I were asked to pick up where they left off. And now we make sure you have the perfect night. And once it's all over, we'll return to our search, rested and ready. So what do you think? <laughs> I think this is a colossal waste of time. I'll be in the library. Great. She can't keep going like this. <laughs> I hope he sings. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe we just skip Aura tonight. 
guys? I'm gonna go on a jog or something. Come on. I know you get frustrated, but you must keep trying. I'm sure we'll discover your problems <clears throat> any day now. That's not it. It's just it's dumb. What is it? John, you know you can tell me. It's wise. Oh. <laughs> no. What about her? I asked her to do the dance and she shot me down. <laughs> Big surprise, right? <laughs> well, I believe the saying goes, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> That's easy for yeah, me to yeah. say. You <laughs> guys clamoring over each other just to ask you out. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. If you don't get a date to the dance, I'll wear a dress. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and finally, here at Vigos. Ah, the invincible girl. She's smart, but I wouldn't say invincible. Do tell. Her semblance is polarity, but you'd never know just by watching. After she made contact with my boots, she was able to move them around however she wanted. But she only made slight adjustments. Just enough to make it look like she's untouchable. She doesn't broadcast her power, so it puts her opponents at a disadvantage. Hmm, people assume she's fated for victory, when she's really taken fate into her own hands. Interesting. Add her to the list. It's her big hand again. They are so big! It's not about overpowering the enemy. It's about taking away what power they have. And we will. In time. Oh, I hate waiting. Don't worry, Mercury. We have a fun weekend ahead of us. I'm going to the ball. <laughs> oh. oh, that's it! That was it! I didn't take the Oh no! Yeah. So that was uh, episode four, right? I want to shake five. Five. Jeez, Shane. Five. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Extracurriculars. I want to shake yeah. John even more now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. still your favorite character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was <laughs> so, not a whole lot of action in this one. Well, there's a lot of pure up, but. Yeah, we'll yeah. start off with a lot of action. A lot of practice action. Yeah. It's cool that we get to find out what her semblance is. And see how she gets to use it from now on. Like his boot. I thought yeah. that's probably what she was yeah, doing. Yeah, because when you find out her semblance, you, you, you never see her use it, right? right. Like, when did she use it? But now well, we know she, she's she using used it. She used it when she saved John. Right. Uh, but you never see her. I'm like, if I could, if I was Magneto, I'd be yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whipping that out. She used it in the first episode of the second when season. When they had food fight. And it was the can. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Although, yeah. Although, yeah. cans aren't magnetic, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, it's comic book magnetism. Anything that's metal. Yeah. yeah. Anything that's metal, so, yeah. Hmm. But now we know she uses slightly in combat like that. To, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. No, this was good, man. I. Yeah, there's um a point where like it's it's hard to hear on these speakers, but when I have my headphones on, you when they're um when they're locker room in the first season, and uh, John, John introduces himself to Weiss and uh, Pira, uh, like when she pins him to the locker with her spear, mm -hmm. you can hear her use it when she pulls the spear out of the locker. She doesn't actually grab the spear; she pulls it to her. Oh, okay. It's, it, and it, you, when you go back and watch a lot, you'll see all those subtle things where they clue you into stuff like that. Right. She uses it over and over again in the fight in episode eight. Uh, uh, yeah. and, and the clues, it's like a very subtle, like very deep bass harmonic that you can't hear on her speakers. So. Right. But every time she hears it, there's just a... So it's, Are we cool. allowed to talk about who we think is what? Is she supposed to be Wonder Woman? Uh, which one, Pierre? Pierre, yeah. Oh, she's Achilles. Oh, okay. Yeah, touch, yeah she's Which vulnerable. Spells some not good things for her. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah, she's. Yeah, it's true. She's so yeah, just real quick recap there. So we know, okay, we know Ruby. Who are there? Yeah. Uh, so let's see here, who else? John is. We haven't had. Kirsten's in yet, so oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Who do you, who do you <laughs> think? Get at these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with the four, the, the main four main girls, right? So Ruby okay. is is um uh Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about Weiss? 
Uh, white says Snow White, I assume. Okay. Yep. And then Yang. Um, I'm not sure who Yang is, to be honest. I... Yeah, Yang is Goldilocks. Oh, okay. Goldilocks, yeah. And she's always okay. she's she's always concerned about her hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then Blake's always the hardest one for people to pick out. Do you have any idea who Blake might be? Um. We're reading all the time, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is she supposed to be Bill? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then, then Team Juniper, which is Sean, Pira, Nora, and uh, Ren. Uh-huh. Ren. Yeah. Uh, we know Pira is, of course, Achilles. Right. John is John Ark. Oh, okay. So, John of the Ark. Yeah. And then, how, how about Nora? Do you have any idea about Nora? Um, I'm trying to think of her. What's her last name, Nora Valk? Nora Valkyrie. Valkyrie. She was a big hammer. Oh, is she supposed to be Thor? She yep. is supposed to be oh, Thor. Okay. And then Lyra is the one that people have a hard time getting because there's not a lot of references to his source material in this series. Yeah. Uh, but he is based on Mulan. Oh, okay. So, out of I Thor, yeah, okay. so Chris out, out of Thor <laughs> and Achilles uh-huh. and Mulan uh-huh. and, damn it, and Joan, of Arc. and Joan of Arc, what's the theme that ties all of those personages together? Uh, fatal flaw of death. They all yes. die. They all, <laughs> they they all, all die. die. <laughs> and they all cross dress. Yeah, they've all yeah, they're all cross okay. <laughs> gender swapped. Uh, yeah, but well, well the characters cross dress and they're the gender swapped versions of those characters. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but tragically like, all those heroes are like, oh wow, they're all <laughs> they're all, <dying. laughs> all doomed. Yeah. They're all doomed. <laughs> Which does not bode well for teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. They're like, oh <laughs> not good. Yeah. Well there you have it folks. Uh, episode five, volume two of Ruby. What's it called, Jane? Uh, extracurriculars. Extracurricular. <laughs> Extracurricular. <laughs> don't even oh. ask, just don't ask me anymore. I'll give it to you at the beginning. <laughs> it's like Test and Chain. You just got to remember this. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm the guy who gives the quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you watching us watch this. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Uh, if you want to, you know, throw a dollar in a hat, we got a Patreon link down below. Uh, and we'll be back next week. Well, we're doing it twice a week now, aren't we? Yes. So Season two, twice a week. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to air on a Saturday or a Tuesday, but... Those are the two days that they air. Ru- oh, Ruby Tuesdays and Saturdays. We didn't have a rhyming scheme for Saturday, but... <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you watching, and we'll be back again next time. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Thanks.